Nice, nice crowd here today. Oh, I'm, thank you, all of you from A4M, for inviting me now for the third time to speak to you. It's such a privilege, and I worked Vegas for so many years as a headliner, and I love that phase of my life, but I'm in a new phase of my life now that feels like such a privilege to be able to be a messenger, to be a liaison between what you do and my readership. And I love being here today because I want to thank you for teaching me all the things that have allowed me to be the person that I am today. I am, in my business, one of the only women who yells her age proudly because I love being 67. And I, n <laughs> and I never thought it could be this incredible and without any drugs. And this journey started um, many years ago when I had cancer. And, you know, sometimes the worst thing in your life becomes the best thing in your life. And that was like nature taking me by the shoulders and saying, look at the part that you have played in the role that you have in getting this disease. And that's the responsibility that I took. And I saw that I didn't take food seriously. I didn't take sleep seriously. I didn't think about um, positive energy, good thoughts. I didn't think about chemicals. I didn't think about any of the things that you have all taught me. And I've so enjoyed this role of being able to pick your brains. So many of you have been in my books and I've been so um, thrilled that that connection between you and my readers has brought my women and men to you. And that, I see, is the role that I play in this dance that we're all doing. You have such courage, all of you. It's so hard to go, go against the grain. I went against the grain a, about a month ago with the Wall Street Journal, and the vitriol was just so incredible that I thought, wow, you take a, a, a stand that's not popular and um, with the internet and Twitter and Facebook, it becomes so vicious. But you have an, an incredible role to play in the health of humanity. I was going to say this country, but humanity. You know what's going on. You know genetically modified food is not good for us. You know that chemicals sprayed on our food is not good for us. You know that our brains are under attack. You know how to connect the dots with Parkinson's and so many of the autoimmune diseases that are so prevalent today, so prevalent that nobody's shocked when you have an autoimmune disease, lupus, MS, fibromyalgia, um, and any of those uh, terrible conditions. Not even cancer shocks anybody anymore. You kind of expect that you or somebody you know is going to get it. I don't expect that anymore. I'm on the, I, I, I work prophylactically with my health. And I have chosen to spend my money on health. So I do it all. I take stem cell rejuvenation shots every three years ago, every three years as per Dr. Jonathan Wright. I take TA65 to lengthen my telomeres and I just got my blood results back and I'm actually five years younger this year than I was last year. <laughs> Let's see, <laughs> pretty soon I'll be up here in a, with a pacifier and a baby carriage. <clears throat> no, no, I won't be giving birth. I mean, I will have regressed so much. I am done birthing babies. I find that all the time women, when they talk to me, they say, yeah, but if I take these hormones, will I get pregnant? I go, no, 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 you are out of eggs. I think we need to change menopause to egglessness because that's what happens. We are out of eggs. So I wrote a book this year that actually wasn't my idea. It was my publisher's idea. Everybody in my publishing house is between 35 and 50. And they said, you need to write a, a hormone book about perimenopause. And I said, um, oh, I don't think so. I've written so much about hormones and I've moved on and we're into all the new innovations, uh, all the, the uh, incredible things that are happening with stem cells. Uh, for instance, like uh, last year, a year and a half ago, being able to regrow my breast taken in cancer so many years ago using my own fat and my own stem cells. I have to tell you a little story. I'll get back to the perimenopause book, but you know, I don't work with notes, so I digress. So I, um, 
I heard about Dr. Kotaro Yoshimura in Japan, who had successfully regrown the breasts of over 400 Japanese women um, who had breast cancer. And so I got in touch with him, and I went over there.